back guys to another beer review uh, you may be looking at me thinking oh he's looking a bit jaded uh, I do feel a little bit jaded it's nine o'clock in the morning here and uh, <laughs> as it turns out I've still got quite a few beers to do uh, before I come home so uh, starting early uh, I don't really want to do four or five strong beers all in a row otherwise I'll be in no fit state later on so uh, I'm going to spread them out so uh, as I said yesterday, if you watch, we moved rooms. Uh, we've actually got a stocked fridge in the room we're in. So uh, there's red wine, white wine, and there's a few beers. So what I've got here is, I can't even say, is a Zithos Vap, and it's a premium quality lager coming in at 5% in a 330ml can. Hasn't cost me a penny yet, although by the time I leave and check out, they might want to charge me for it, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, this is brewed by Vap B. Kugius SA. Uh, it's from Rhodes, anyway. Ingredients, water, barley malt, hop yeast. And there we go. Quite like the can design, quite funky. So we'll get this beer out and see what we get. Apologies for the light if it's a bit thingy. Normal glass for this because it's a lager. Been in the fridge, so it's been nice and chilled. So, in a glass, light straw colour, see through, getting a real strong malty whiff from it already from the can. Heavily carbonated. We've got a finger of white on top. Let's get in on the nose, see what we get. Yeah, that typical sort of premium lager sort of smell, to be honest. Big malty, malty aromas, a little bit of lemon. Yeah, typical premium sort of lager. Malt and lemon is, is the big things that I'm getting, so. Maybe a bit of bitterness in there on the nose as well, so cheers everyone, early one, so. bad actually uh, quite refreshing I'm not gonna say it's it maybe the best tasting one but it's, it's not a bad lager actually quite thin in body lighter than the, the Zorba the Zorba's beer at the bars at, uh, at the hotel that's really heavy uh, quite thick and heavy to drink and takes its toll on you to be honest uh, this is a bit lighter Little bit of hoppy bitterness, bit of lemon, carbonation, there's quite a bit of carbonation in there. You're getting the malt. I mean this is your bog standard premium lager. You could probably pick half a dozen beers that we get back home that are pretty much identical to this. Uh, I'm trying to think what which ones remind me of it really? I'm trying to think. I don't know. You could probably say something like the Carlsberg or something, I don't know. Uh, but it's that typical taste of all the premium lagers, but it's okay. <clears throat> and when it's hot outside, this probably does the job a treat. So, uh, yeah. If you're ever in Kos or you see this around on any of the Greek islands, pick it up, have a try. It's not fantastic, but it's okay. Uh, I think I've seen it for about four euros, or I think four euros, 50 for six cans, so reasonably cheap. Uh, yeah, so that's it. So if you've had it, let me know what you think. And uh, that's it. So feel free to comment, like me video, share me video, subscribe to my channel. Uh, all the be an idea on Facebook, all the be an idea on YouTube. All the bit no idea of one on Twitter and Instagram. And that's it for now. Uh, I'll be back with another one of the Greek craft beers later. Or another couple of them later. Three, maybe. Maybe do three. Uh, and that's it. So enjoy your Sunday, everyone. Uh, it's probably about quarter past seven now there. Half seven, I don't know. Uh, so uh, that's it. See you again very soon. Cheers.